Photo scanning is hard, and sometimes even modern apps that make it easier than ever before simply don't work. So today we are going to talk about a very quick but also very, very dirty method. A common alternative to scanning 3D objects is importing images and then simply using loop cuts and the knife tool to extrude different parts. If you are serious about Blender, you've probably heard of this method before, if not, Ian Hubert is the undisputed master of this, so you'll find the link to his channel down below. But sometimes this just isn't enough. Things like castles, walls or more organic objects need more geometry. So this is where this method comes in handy. And it starts exactly the same way. Hit Shift A and choose Images as Planes. If you don't see it, go to your Preferences, Add-ons and Activate it. The shape of my walls is more organic, so I'm using the knife tool instead of loop cuts. Make sure to stay well within the shape you want to keep, as this is going to make your life a lot easier later on. Delete the parts you don't need and extrude the whole thing. That looks terrible. Go to your materials and set the blend mode to opaque. Still looks like plastic, so set the specular level to zero. As I said earlier, organic shapes need more geometry. The edges are way too sharp and simply adding a bevel is not going to fix it. Instead, we are going to use sculpting. Inside the sculpting workspace, I use the remesh tool. If you want to, you can also use the remesh modifier, just make sure to apply it before sculpting. I've also tried using the multi-res modifier, but that caused weed artifacts. The best way to make the sharp edges disappear is using the scrape brush. If you want your model to look nice, take your time and do it correctly. If you are lazy like me, just make the brush a bit bigger. That already looks a lot better. Now it's time to roughen up the wall. You can either use the built-in brushes and put in a lot of effort, or you can use a free set of brushes that, well, are free and incredibly good. You'll find the link in the description below, and also a great tutorial on how to use them. At this point, a big thank you to Robert Doug on PlanSwap, the creator of the brushes and the Just Basics YouTube channel for the great tutorial. After importing the brushes, the hardest part is choosing the right brush, as they all look fantastic. Now reduce the strength and simply click and drag. Keep doing this until you're happy. Alternatively, you could also generate a displacement map from the original texture and use it to displace your mesh. But then it wouldn't be a quick and dirty tutorial and also it wouldn't be as fun. Once you're done sculpting, think about reducing the poly count. That not only depends on your mesh, but mainly on your graphics card. Sadly, we are now done with the quick part, now it's time for the dirty part. Turn on viewport shading and realize that you have to unwrap your model again. But don't worry, it's fairly easy. Go to the UV editing workspace and select the big size of your wall. Hit U, project from view and align the UVs until it looks alright. Now do the same thing on the sides and you're done. Of course this technique isn't limited to flat surfaces only, you can always add more geometry, ideally in edit mode and try out different unwrapping methods. For me, this workflow enables me to quickly create assets that I can use for kit bashing. Once you've made a few different assets, it's really just a matter of duplicating, rotating and combining elements. As always, the more work you put in, the better the result is going to be. But as I mentioned, this is a quick and dirty tutorial. I hope you liked it and if you want to see another quick and dirty trick, then watch this next video.